Alright, hey guys, Simon here. We're playing Assassin's Creed 1, and we are in the rich quarter of Damascus in the game, and I think now's a good time to look up some landmarks. So I found three of them already. So there's the Umayyad Mosque. You may it is that how you pronounce it? I don't even know. Arabic Uh Gonna Yumaya oh yeah. So the Umayyad Mosque and the I think the Al Buzuriya Suk. The Al Buzur I think that's the Suk that we can see in the game. So if you remember, I think this street is a Suk. I might have that wrong. But I think that's like the Suk in the game. And then the, the Citadel of Damascus is at the at the northwest corner. There, there. There's the Citadel. There's the Umayyad Mosque. There's the uh, Suk there. But the actual the palace is not there. The palace, I believe, it's only for the game. So it's only been designed and put into the game. Um. All right. Well, so we are in the game. We are right in front of the uh, Umayyad Mosque. So before we walk in, let's go have a look at what Wikipedia says. Uh, the Umayyad Mosque, or formerly the Basilica of Saint John the Baptist. Ha. <laughs> So it used to be a basilica, and then it got taken over by the Muslims and turned into a mosque. I think you can see that happening a lot already. Like, okay, we've seen a few landmarks already where, you know, when Muslims move in, they turn into a mosque, and then when the Crusaders came in, they turn it back into a church, and so on and so forth. And so they just kind of take these holy buildings and re repurpose them for their own religion quite often, which is kind of funny. It's located in the old city of Damascus. It's one of the largest and oldest mosques in the world. It is considered by some Muslims to be the fourth holiest place in Islam. After the Arab conquest of Damascus in 634, the mosque was built on the site of a Christian basilica dedicated to John the Baptist. So there you go. So it was so this building wasn't the basilica, but it was built on top of that site. Also, 634 is quite early. Uh, the mosque holds a shrine, which today may still contain the head of John the Baptist, honored as a, as a prophet by both Christians and Muslims alike, and is believed to be the place where Isa, or Jesus, will return at the end of days. Really? Here? The tomb of Saladin stands in a small garden adjoining the north wall of the mosque. Well, in the game, Saladin is still alive, and so the tomb is not going to be there. Uh, history pre-Islamic period. Damascus was the capital of the Aramean state Aram Damascus during the Iron. Okay, oh, yeah, we don't want to go back to the Iron Age. Let's see if we can focus on. Actually, Dome of the Clock was built in 1780, and then the Dome of the Treasury was built in 1789. So we've got these two domes inside, but they don't look quite like that in game, though. <coughs> Sorry about that. I can think we can see them. You can see them in game, but they don't look quite like that. Uh, Damascus was besieged and captured by the Muslim Arab forces led by Khalid ibn al Walid in 634. This is still quite a long time ago. Uh, I don't know if we want to read all of this. You might be interested. Let's see. The construction of the mosque was actually the construction of the mosque completely altered the layout of the building. Um, he had okay, so. The Sultan himself, or the Caliph himself, personally supervised the project, had most of the cathedral, including the Musala, demolished. The construction of the mosque completely altered the layout of the building. The new house of worship was meant to serve as a large congregation of mosques for the citizens of Damascus, and as a tribute to the city. In response to Christian protests at the move, Al Walid ordered all the other confiscated churches in the city to be returned to the Christians as compensation. The mosque was completed in 715, shortly after Al the Al Walid's death by his successor, Suleiman ibn Abid al Malid. So, Mel Malik, my, my bad. So, yeah. Okay, so they took the basilica, turned it into a mosque, the Christians protested, so he gave back all the other confiscated churches in the city in exchange for this really big one. Somewhere between 600,000 and 1 million dinars was spent on the project. I don't know how believable that is. Coptic craftsmen, as well as Persian, Indian, Greek, and Moroccan laborers, provided the bulk of the labor force, which consisted of 12,000 people. 
Not sure how accurate that is. That's a lot of people and a lot of money. Um, yeah, I don't know if I want to read all that. By the early 10th century, all right, now we're getting closer to the Crusades, a monumental clock had been installed by the entrance in the western part of the southern wall of the mosque. This clock seems to have stopped functioning by the middle of the 12th century. Uh, Abbasid ruler over Syria between, uh, began crumbling during the early 10th century, and in the decades that followed, they came under the control of autonomous realms who were only nominally under Abbasid authority. The Fatimids of Egypt, who adhered to Shia Islam, conquered Damascus in 970, but few recorded improvements of the mosque were undertaken by the new rulers. The Umayyad mosque's prestige allowed the residents of Damascus to establish the city as a center for Sunni intellectualism, enabling them to maintain relative independence from Fatimid religious authority. In 1069, large sections of the mosque, particularly the northern wall, were destroyed in a fire as a result of an uprising by the city's residents against the Fatimid Barber army who were garrisoned there. Oh, that's terrible. Uh, the Sunni Muslim Seljuk Turks gained control of the city in 1078 and restored the nominal rule of the Abbasid Caliphate. The Seljuk King Tutush in initiated the repair of the damage caused by the, 19, uh, by the 1069 fire. In 1082, his vizier Abu Nazi Nazar Ahmed ibn Fat. How, how do you pronounce these names, man? I'm not. I don't know any Arabic, and I can't pronounce any of these. Had the central dome restored in a more spectacular form. Ah, uh, this is that's a lot of stuff. Okay, they're repairing the thing, and two panels about the doorways. As the conflict between Damascus and the Crusaders intensified in the mid 1100s. The mosque was used as a principal rallying point, calling on Muslims to defend the city and return Jerusalem to Muslim hands. Prominent imams, including Ibn Asakir, preached jihad, and when the Crusaders advanced towards Damascus in 11, 1148, the city's residents heeded their cause. The Crusader army withdrew as a result of their resistance. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's, that's interesting. So, I mean, when you go into the game, you can hear the Imams calling for Jihad, calling for people to go to war against the the Crusaders. <laughs> so they put that in the game too. Uh, second one, I'm call the water clock. Let's see if we can find the clock in the game. Uh, Damascus witnessed the establishment of several religious institutions under the Ayyubids, but the Umayyad Mosque retained its place as a center of religious life in the city. Okay, so the mosque survived everything. Despite all of that, uh, Ottoman era. So we're not gonna look at all that. Courtyard and oh, so this is the architecture. Courtyard and sanctuary. The ground plan of the Umayyad mosque is a, is a rectangle in shape, and measures 97 meters by 156 meters. A large courtyard occupies the northern part of the mosque complex, while the haram sanctuary covers the southern part. Wait a minute. We only have the courtyard in the game, though. Oh, actually, wait a minute. So the courtyard and then the sanctuary, we're at the... Oh! We are at the southern end of it. This is the sanctuary, I see, I see. So let, let's run back around. This is not the entrance, this is like the back of it. Why did I think that the entrance was at the south side? I seriously thought that was the entrance. Okay, so that was the exit. I mean, that's, that's the back. Alright, so the north side is this side. And you can... Oh, okay. Okay, so these guys are calling for jihad. So that's the front... Oh, wait a minute. In the game, you can't go in through the front. You have to go in through the sides. What's going on? So in the game, you actually have to go in... No, don't, why would you do that? You have to go in through the side... There. So the courtyard is in the north, which is where we are now. And then the sanctuary is behind those doors, I guess. So here are two dome things in the courtyard. But they're nothing like what they are in the pictures in Wikipedia. Which is interesting. 
and must be made to pay. Uh, I can climb Everywhere these things ride. too. I can climb they these. Leave only suffering in their oh, wait a minute. Race. Didn't, like a child didn't Wikipedia a say day. one of these things was gilded? In marble Violence. or something? And that's the Madness. column that has uh, the skull of John the Baptist inside it? Uh, all the columns are the same the though. And must be made so I, I I don't know I can't see it. Look at that decoration on that thing. Wow, it's shiny too. It cool. All right, well, let's walk away a little bit. We don't want to listen to the uh, imams calling for jihad. Um. Okay, there we go. So the courtyard is enclosed by four exterior walls. The level of the stone pavement had become uneven over time due to several repa repairs throughout the mosque's history. But recent work on the courtyard has restored it to its consistent Yemayan era levels. Arcades surround the courtyard, supported by alternating stone columns and piers. There is one pier in between every two columns, because the northern part of the courtyard has been destroyed in an earthquake. In 1759, the arcade is not consistent. When the northern wall was rebuilt, the columns that were supporting it were not. Okay, interesting. So the northern wall today is missing columns. But historically, it's supposed to be piers and then two columns and then piers and then two columns. But as you can see, there's only the one thing in the game. Obviously, you can't fit any more columns there. And again, you know, the architecture in the game is a lot smaller than, than the real thing. Alright, let's come back here and go back to reading. Uh, three arcades make up the interior space of the sanctuary. They are parallel to the direction of prayer, which is towards Mecca, or Mecca in modern-day Saudi Arabia. The arcades are supported by two rows of stone, Corinthian columns. Each of the arcades contain two levels. The first level consists of large semicircular arches, while the second level is made of double arches. Hey, we just saw that. This pattern is the same repeated by the arcades of the courtyard. The three interior arcades intersect in the center of the sanctuary with a higher, with a larger higher arcade that is perpendicular to the qibla, the direction of, play, of prayer, wall, and faces the mihrab, niche in the wall which indicates the qibla and the minba, the pulpit. The central transept divides the arcade into two halves, which each with 11 arches. The entire sanctuary measures 136 meters by 37 meters and takes up the southern half of the mosque complex. Well, I'm pretty sure that the one in the game is not anywhere near that complex. Do we have like a plan of this thing? No, we don't. We just have uh, photos. So, oh wait. Uh, okay. Well, I mean, it's pretty... No, no, this is pretty much what we see in game, actually. What was the thing talking about? No, this is right. Oh, no, no, no. The, see the piers? There's pier, column, column. So there's pier, column, column, pier, column, column, pier, column, column, pier. So, I don't know if you can see that in the video, actually. Maybe you should just look it up in the, uh, in Wikipedia yourself. But in the game, they're all piers, as opposed to the pier column thing. Interesting. Or maybe I was looking at the wrong thing. Because these are all peers. Maybe it is right. Hold on, let me just go back in there. <laughs> I don't know how many of you guys find this interesting. I find it fascinating. Oh uh, yeah, 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 okay, so it's missing. It's nowhere near as big. So, in reality, there's this peer, column, column, and then peer. But here it's just kind of three arches and that's it. Yeah, so so the game in-game version is much, much smaller than the real-life version of the building. Alright, back to, back, to, back to reading. Uh, where were we? Four mihrabs line the sanctuary's rear wall. Oh, this is the sanctuary though, so this is inside the... Uh, yeah, okay, the interior space of the sanctuary. We can't actually go inside, so we don't see this stuff. The main one being the Great Mihrab, which is located roughly at the center of the wall. The Mihrab of the Companions of the Prophet, named after the Sahaba, is situated in the eastern half. According to the ancient Muslim engineer Musa ibn Shakir, the latter Mihrab was built during the mosque's initial construction and it became the third niche formed Mihrab in Islam's history. I guess that's interesting to some people. I don't even. 
Like, I don't know enough about mosques to, to know if that's interesting or not. Now, uh, domes. The largest dome of the mosque is known as the Dome of the Eagle, located atop the center of the prayer hall. Yep, we've been there, we've seen that. The original wooden dome was replaced by one built of stone following the 1893 fire. Well, that's, that's much later than now, in the game. It receives its name because it's thought to resemble an eagle, with the dome itself being the eagle's head, while the eastern and western flanks of the walls of the prayer hall represent the wings. I don't, I don't see it. With a height of 36 meters, the dome rests on an octagonal substructure with two arched windows on each of its sides. It is supported by the central interior arcade and has openings along the perimeter. Okay, that's cool. Minerals. So there's... Oh, there are three minerals. And there are three towers. There are three viewpoints for us to climb and do the viewpoint things. Cool. <laughs> so that's correct, at least. Uh, within the Amaya was three minerals. The Minaret of the Bride was the first one built and is located on the mosque's northern wall. Hold on, let's let's just climb. Hey, yes, let's climb up and then see this. So the northern, can we just, just go up here? Let's do this. Yes, here we go. Alright, let's, let's go check these towers. Uh, if I can shimmy along a little bit. And uh, shimmy along here a little bit. And get up here. Alright, so the north... Yeah, there we go, so there's one, two, and three. Oh, this is the one we can't climb, though. Oh, that sucks. So this is the mineral of the... Wait a minute. Does the sun rise and set in this game, or is that just the sun there? Never mind. There's no night time, is it? So that's the mineral of the bride. It looks like that. Hmm. Uh, the exact year of the Minaret's co original construction is unknown. The bottom part of the Minaret most likely dates back to the Abbasid era in the 9th century. While it is possible that the Umayyads built it, there is no indication that the Minaret on the northern wall was part of the Caliph al Walid's initial concept. Geographer al Muqaddasi -muk visited the Minaret in 985 when Damascus was under Abbasid control and described it as recently built. Okay. The upper segment was constructed in 1174. This mineral... wait a minute. Isn't 1174 quite a bit after the game? So that part shouldn't even be there. This mineral is used by the Muiz, Muezin for the call to prayer. And there's a spiral staircase of 160 stone steps that lead to the Muezin's calling position. So, before... <laughs> Before there were microphones and loudspeakers, you have a guy climbing up to the top and yelling at people to come to prayer. <laughs> well, he's he's dedicated. The middle out of the bride is divided into two sections. The main tower and the spire, which are separated by a lead roof. Yeah, so this is the spire. That shouldn't be in the game yet. Because it's built in 1174. Uh, the oldest, oldest part of the minaret, or the main tower, is square in shape, has four galleries, consists of two different forms of masonry. This is so detailed, it's amazing. The base consists of large blocks, while the upper section is built of dressed stone. There are... actually... Can you see that? So the bottom is large blocks, and the top is dressed stone. No, no, it's just the same thing all the way through, I think. No, that's, that's not accurate in-game, because... Well, unless... Oh, no, it is! Look at that, look at that! You see how... No, yeah, get up. It is, look at that! You see how this stuff is a lot rougher than that stuff? Yeah, they did it! They, they did it in-game as well, that's amazing! Good job, guys! Good job, guys who made Assassin's Creed. Was it Ubisoft? Or was Ubisoft the publishers? Uh, there are two light openings near the top of the main tower before the roof with the horseshoe arches and cubicle capitals enclosed in a single arch. What? What is, what is it? I don't even see that. Uh, two light openings near the top of the main tower before the roof with horseshoe arches and cubicle capitals enclosed in a single arch. No. No, that's wrong. Unless they're talking about this thing on the side of it. Uh, no, that's not really it neither, is it? 
It should be like that. It should be kind of like that, but uh, but slightly flatter. You see that in the small picture there? That's not right. There. No, no. They didn't do that accurately. That's okay, though. Um, a smaller arch core bell is located below these openings. A local legend mineralizer named after the daughter of the merchant who provided the lead for the mineralizer roof was married to a serious ruler at the time. Attached to the minaret of the bride is the 18th century replica of the 14th century sundial built by <laughs> 18th century replica of the 14th century sundial built by Ibn al Shatir. The minaret of Jesus, located on the southeast corner of the mosque complex. South, east, south, south, that one, southeast. So the minaret of Jesus is this one. But remember that in Islamic uh, religion, well, in, 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 in Islam, Jesus is not the son of God. Jesus is just one of the prophets. A pretty, pretty good prophet, but um, not actually the son of God according to the Muslims. Anyway, so that, that's the Tower of Jesus. Located on uh, it's around 77 meters in height and the tallest of the three minarets. Is it the tallest? I can't, you can't really tell the heights of the, unless we climb on top of it. Then we can look straight across and see if it's the, if, if it's the tallest or not. I don't think so, because this thing looks just like a lot of the, the other towers that we've been climbing all this time. I don't think they actually made this thing unique in this game. Look, if I climb up to here, right, and then I kind of just look across. Let me just uh, slide across. No, why are you going that way? Alright, let me just kind of slide across here and then just look across. No, I don't think this is the tallest. It isn't the tallest. That thing's taller. That thing's taller. The mineral of the bride is taller. That's for sure. Okay, well that's not accurate. Let me just jump off like a crazy person. Um, is some sources claim... Okay, they don't know who built it. The main body of the current mineral is built by the uh, Abubids in 1240... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The main body was built in 1247. But the upper section was constructed by the Ottomans. This thing isn't even... Oh wait, this is a different tower. Wait a minute, that's not the one we're looking at. This thing wasn't built until much later. It's not in the game. Or it shouldn't be in the game. Huh. And the other one, the Western Minaret, known as the Minaret of Quait Bay, was built by the Mong Mamluk Sultan Quait Bay in 1488. The other one shouldn't be there neither. I mean, at this point in the game, there should only be one. Huh. It is generally believed that both the Minaret of Jesus and the Western Minaret was built on the foundation of ancient Roman towers, but some scholars find this to be questionable because of the absence of corner towers in other former Roman temples. No, but yeah, but these things aren't in the in the. It shouldn't be in the game, huh? Okay. Influence on mosque architecture. The Umayyad Mosque is one of the few early mosques in the world to have maintained the same general structure and architectural features since its initial construction in the early 8th century, and its Umayyad character has not been significantly altered. Since its establishment, the mosque has served as a model for congregation of mosque architecture in Syria as well as, global, as globally. According to art historian Finbar Berry Flood, the construction of the Damascus Mosque not only irrevocably altered the urban landscape of the city, inscribing upon it a permanent affirmation of Muslim hegemony, but by giving the Syrian congregation mosque its definitive form, it also transformed the subsequent history of the mosque in general. If you say so, bro. Uh, examples of the Umayyad Mosque ground plan being used as a prototype for other mosques in the region include the El Azhar Mosque, the Babers Mosque in Cairo, the Great Mosque of Cordoba in Spain. I don't know if, if, if Spain counts the same region as Syria, but okay. The Bursa Grand Mosque and the Selimaye? Selimaye Mosque in Turkey. Uh, Alright, so there we go. That's what it looks like in real life. It's more colorful, isn't it? 
or maybe that's just the picture. So this thing in the middle, they've gone and taken that and, and copied it to the two ends. But the other domes in the two ends, they've kind of removed and just kind of put this thing in the two at the two ends. And these towers don't actually exist in the game because they were built much later. All right, there we go. So that's the um. That's the Umayyad Mosque in Damascus, Syria. Not not quite correct, but you know, fairly close. It's fairly impressive here. I think that that's good enough. I feel like there should be more flags inside there. Maybe I should go look for more flags just while I'm here. Let me jump to there.